Big Board Sports with Roger Wiley. Well, good evening, everybody. As we told you off the top of the show, Damar Hamlin was released from the University of Cincinnati Medical Center this morning and flown back to Buffalo to continue his recovery. 24-year-old has made huge progress within the past week since he collapsed during the game a week ago. The Bills are coming off Sunday's emotionally charged Bills Stadium in their 35-23 win over New England. The roar erupted here as, as Naheem Hines returns the opening kickoff. You don't make it up. 96 yards for the touchdown. The Bills now host Miami. The Giants will try and pull off an upset at Minnesota. Uh, at the end of the day, it's you know it's playoffs now. It's one week seasons. Um, I believe we got the Dolphins next week, a team that knows us well. Um, so we got to put our put our work in this this week and, and get ready for next week. That's the playoffs. You know whatever the seeds are, the seeds are. So we'll prepare as hard as we can to uh, go play a really good football team in a hostile environment. So here we go, folks. Matchups. Uh, two games on Saturday. Seattle at San Francisco. Chargers play at Jacksonville on NBC and News Channel 13 Saturday night at 8.15. Three games on Sunday. Bills host the Dolphins at 1. Giants at the Vikings at 4.30. And then News Channel 13 will carry the Baltimore Ravens at the Cincinnati Bengals Sunday night at 8.15. Rounding it out. Monday night football. Tampa and Tom Brady hosting the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys are favored by three. For the fourth time this season, you Albany men's basketball freshman Jonathan Beagle from Hudson Falls has been named America's Conference Rookie of the Week. He averaged a double-double in uh, one win, one loss this week for the Great Danes. He dropped 13 points and nine rebounds in a loss at UMBC and then responded big time yesterday. 17 points, 12 rebounds. Statement win for U Albany, their best performance of the season. And now one and two in the conference, and they travel to Bryant on Wednesday night. And the Siena men's basketball team, they've won six in a row. Their first place in the MAC, and they beat Ryder at MVP Arena. And today, Grad student Jackson Stormo has been named Metro Atlantic at, at, Atlantic Conference Player of the Week, the MAC, uh, for the first time in his career, which kind of surprised me. He's really good. The Santa Barbara, California product averaged 21 points. Stormo and the Saints return to action this weekend for their trip to Niagara and Canisius. And anytime you go to Niagara and Canisius, you're hoping for good weather. Yeah, right. That, that western swing, that, that can, be western a swing can be a little rough sometimes, All but right. sounds like there could be okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Roger. Well, it depends on this guy. We're going to hear from Paul coming up in a few minutes. But first, let's check in with Tessa Bentulin to find out what's new for tonight. Tessa. Hi, Mark. Hi, Sabrina. Tonight at 9, we take a closer look at Damar Hamlin's remarkable recovery. We'll hear more from the doctors who treated him in Cincinnati, plus the latest on Hamlin's condition now that he's recovering in Buffalo.